Hey everyone, I'm Jack. Welcome to Fulcrum and Four. A quick look at some of our recent updates. Today, I'm going to talk to you about new and improved packing labels, external notifications, and updating records from a single source. First, let's look at packing labels. Shops move fast, and being able to quickly identify what things are is vital to keep things flowing in your shop and in your customers. With that in mind, we created packing labels to easily print information about the shipment and the items in the shipment to help you and your customers confirm that the order is all there. Just like the other labels in Fulcrum, you can set up what information is important to display. Things like the customer name, part name, address information, and the pack list line number. To add information, click Add Row and copy and paste the variable you'd like to add, including the brackets. You can include your company's logo and a thumbnail of the part you're shipping as well. To print a general shipment label, click into the shipment you are sending and press the label button in the center of the record. From there, you can print to any printer connected to your device. If you need to print a specific part label for the shipment, switch over to pack list, pack the quantity you're shipping, and print the label. Stick that inner on your box and send the shipment on its way. Next, let's talk about communication within Fulcrum. You can now get notifications from Fulcrum to email, Teams, or Slack. These notifications are designed to help you and your team know when something has changed or needs action to help keep projects moving along. Each user can set up which notifications they'd like to receive. To set this up, click on your name in the lower left corner of Fulcrum, hit Edit Profile, and then choose where you want to get notifications. For email, it's as simple as typing in your address. For Slack and Teams, follow the link for simple instructions that should take no more than five minutes. Next, go to the area of Fulcrum that you want to get notifications for. We'll use the sales order page as an example. You'll now see a bell icon in the top right of the screen. Use that bell to select what types of notifications you'd like to receive. If you want to see an update for every status change of every order, select the bottom most option. Now, when any order is moved from draft to needs review or approved to sent, you'll be alerted outside of Fulcrum. Maybe you only want to track one hot job. You can subscribe to notifications for just that job instead of every job to see when it's completed so you and your shipping department will know immediately and you can let your customer know it's getting out the door. Reach out to your launcher account manager to see if your instance is eligible. Speaking of keeping things up to date, to deal with ever-changing customer requests, we've built a way to update existing records so you can make the change once and push it across open quotes, orders, and jobs in review. For example, an order change comes in, letting you know that the customer needs their part machined with a different material. Rather than having to find every open order or job that this part is on, navigate to the items page, click into the production details, and make the changes needed in the bill of materials and routing. Select update options and choose which orders and jobs you need to have this change reflected in, making it quick and easy to update the bomb and routings all at once. All of these updates are made to help Fulcrum ease the burden of communication for custom fabricators and machine shops. To see what else is new, check out fulcrumpro.com slash product dash updates. And if you haven't already, check out our new nesting workflows video to see beta features that are releasing soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.